the metaphor I use for entrepreneurship uh, frequently is you throw yourself off a cliff and you assemble an airplane on the way down. And the reason I use this metaphor is because it's got that urgency of the ground is coming and you need to assemble all the right pieces. And frequently you have to solve problems sometimes that haven't ever been solved before. Sometimes have been solved before, but there's a large set of them. There's like problems with how does finance work, how does early company recruiting work, how do you get your first customers, how do you start scaling it, um, do you have the right cash flow in the analysis, um, are there, uh, if there's innovations or product development, is that happening the right way? So you just have this huge swath of problems and you have to solve all of them and some of them are unique. And so classically why um, the right, uh, the way I frame it frequently, and it's, it's mentorship, but bring bringing the right network around the founder and around the company in order to facilitate it solving these problems is frequently the difference between life and death and frequently between modest success and massive success. Because the network helps amplify the accuracy and the speed at which you solve these critical problems. Credibility is everything and relationships are everything. I have spent my entire entrepreneurial career depositing in the bank of relationships and uh, building those relationships, finding people that truly want to see me succeed, surrounding myself um, with people that want to see me succeed, going to chambers and councils and taking advantage of, of programs like Startup America. That's why I'm privileged to serve on the board because I'm living proof that these types of local and national programs, they work. They're where the rubber meets the road. They provide the entrepreneur the knowledge, the education, the network to succeed. Unless you've lived on an island your entire life, you have access to a network of people. And the beauty of our society, and we're much more hyper-connected even now, thanks to things like LinkedIn and Facebook, um, we, we're, we're hyper-connected. Your job is to build a network from the assets that you have today, and it, it will take you a while. But if you invest in developing that network of experts and the people around you who care about your success, it'll pay dividends for a long time. And so often I recommend to entrepreneurs or starting companies, spend as much time building your network, talking to your customers as you do on your product development. And it's oftentimes that they, the entrepreneurs do it in the reverse order. But if you do it in that order and you're, and you're conscious of investing that energy in it, you'll be, have much better access to capital, you'll have a much better product at the end of the day, you'll have a chance to get at customers, you'll be able to recruit talent more easily because you'll have tested your ideas out. It's really important to do that and that mentoring and that expertise network that you build around you and you can start with the people that are right around you they all know people who know people I often tell young people that their parents and their friends parents all have jobs one of them's got to have a job in an industry that you may be interested in working in go start there and that's a great way to get a network built at the small business administration we have over 900 small business development centers all around the country so if you are a small business out there and you are growing and you do not have a mentor, you do not have someone that you meet with regularly, it gives you counsel and advice as you make your way through this process, you should. And the best news is that it's free. So if you go to sba.gov and you put in your zip code, we can find you a mentor either through our SCORE, which has 12,000 volunteers all around the country, many of whom might be in your same business, or through our small business development centers. For high growth businesses, we have matched entrepreneurs to great mentors, and they have seen their business grow uh, many times over as a result of good advice that helps them avoid some of the speed bumps that are out there. So it's a matter of listening and, and looking for guidance and looking for help, but ultimately not doing what other people say, doing what you think is right, taking into account everything you've learned in terms of what customer feedback is telling you, what your staff, your team is telling you, what competitors are doing, as well as what mentors are doing, maybe investors as well if you have them, but taking all that input, all that data and saying, here's, here's I think the right call, and then really making that call and, and, and sticking with it. I think one of the lessons of all great entrepreneurial success stories is it's a mix of people, passion and perseverance, what I call the, the three Ps. You've got to get a team around you that really believes in that idea and will be there through thick and thin. You've got to be really passionate about the idea and have it be a big idea, something that really can change the world. And you've got to have perseverance because almost no company is a overnight success. AOL was a decade in the making before we really, really got going. And that's true with most of the really successful American entrepreneurial success stories.